Don't let a screw or a nail ruin your ride. Get yourself a plug kit and learn how to use it. I'll show you how in this video from the MC Garage. There's a lot of sharp stuff out there on the road just waiting to put a hole in your tire. Thankfully, most modern tires are tubeless, which means you can plug them on the spot in just a matter of minutes. Keep in mind that plug kits are only meant to fix punctures in the tread of the tire. So if you've got a hole in the sidewall or a gash in the tread from a piece of glass, you're out of luck and that tire is going to need to be replaced. The first step in fixing a flat is finding your puncture. Nails and screws are usually pretty easy to find. You know what? I'm not seeing one in this tire, but just give me a second. There we go. Once you've located the puncture, remove the nail or the screw using the pliers from your toolkit. Now, take the reamer from your toolkit and ream the hole. Most tires are steel belted, so it's gonna take a lot of effort to jam this guy in there. What you're doing is you're reaming the hole to both clean it and make it large enough to accept the plug tool and the plug. Run the tool through the hole several times to clean it completely. Now you're ready to plug it. I'm using rubberized rope plugs. These are a really common solution to a hole in the tire and you can get them at any auto parts store and most gas stations. Thread a rope through the end of your installation tool, lather it in glue, and then punch it into the hole. Like the reamer, it can be a pain in the ass to drive the tool home, but once it goes in, push it about halfway through and then pull the tool out with a quick, firm motion. Now, take a razor blade and cut the tail off of the plug. Leaving a tail on there is gonna encourage the plug to get pulled out as you ride. Bear in mind that a lot of tire plug kits don't come with a razor blade, so you'll probably wanna pack your own. Also, if when installing the plug, you push it in too far, just push it all the way through and start with a fresh one. Give the glue a few minutes to set and then air up your tire. If you're out on the road, you'll have to use the CO2 cartridges that are included in your kit, but since I want to save mine for an actual emergency, I'm going to use the Shop Air. Usually, one of these large 45 gram cartridges will inflate a sport bike tire to about 30 psi, which is plenty to get you home. With the tire aired up, you're good to go. Keep in mind though that a plug is a temporary fix, though I will admit that I've ridden from coast to coast on a plug tire with no problems. Still, you're better off getting the tire replaced or dismounted and patched from the inside. That's it for this video from the MC Garage. Make sure to check back next time for more tips and tricks.